Hello! Under one of the previous posts, there was a quite interesting comment from Viktor Strobitsky. Uh, he raised his needs that he would like to color some drawing parts on the G drawings. He said that, yeah, there is the quite a uh, set of three distinct features the diameter, the top level, the bottom level, and based on them, he would like to set the colors of those parts so they will be quite easy to, to get just by looking. Of course, probably he would like also to add some legend to say that, yeah, the green ones are this one and the red ones are this one, but <laughs> okay. And as I first read this uh, comment, I was really glad, Victor, that you provided your, your needs because this is exactly what I would like to go with this Grasshopper Tecla drawing link, that it should address your needs. So, uh, I sit down and thought a little and checked some issues with the Tecla Drawing API. And yeah, this thing is probably not, uh, not available to done because there is a quite small subset of colors. But hey, let's look how it could work. I created very small uh, Tecla model with some pies and at the first glance, when you see those from the top view, they are probably almost the same. Of course, yeah, here we can see that maybe this diameter is a little bigger. But if we would go to the 3D, then we will see that, yeah, they have different top and bottom levels. They are different. So this is exactly the need of the Victor, that he would like to somehow distinct them on the G drawing, because now they are all they all have the same color. And of course, uh, those data about the diameter, the top level, the bottom level, probably would be added by the part mark or maybe by the assembly position and then it, there will be some table on the right side. But Victor very clearly raised his uh, needs that he would like to change the colors of those uh, elements based on his needs. But of course, it could be also your needs. So let's think how we could go with this thing. Uh, I will open the grasshopper, but yeah, maybe just some preparation of the of the view. Oh no, okay, this is this. Yep, okay. Just here and there. Uh, okay, it can be probably something like this. So let's go to the Tecla drawing and see that there are some new things which are needed to achieve this uh, this user story. So the first one is the selected objects. It is for getting the selected objects currently. So we would like to have the boolean trigger. So let's just get the toggle and how it will work. It will work uh, that currently it will return nothing because nothing is uh, selected. So let's uh, provide some input and select all of those uh, initial drawing parts. Of course, we could use some filtering on the on the drawing side, but now let's just get them. Okay, so now we have, uh, yeah, I think that we have 36 uh, of uh, drawing pies. And they are the drawing objects. So it is impossible to query those features, like the diameter, like the top level and bottom level. So we have to somehow change them, to convert them to the model parts, because those features are coming from the model, not from the drawing. So let's see that, yeah, we have this thing, which is conversion from the drawing to model objects. And let's see how it will work. So I will just, yeah, what was the shortcut? Okay, the Alt. And now let's see how it will work. And after this conversion, we are getting the model objects. I know that it is not very clear that, yeah, now the there are the model ones, here are the drawing parts, but now at this point, let's please uh, trust me. And based on that, we can uh, get those three report values and we will use uh, the official uh, model link from provided by the Trimble, by the Sebastian, and let's see where it was. It was in the extract and it was uh, get property. Yep, this is exactly what I would like to see for the visuality, I will go here and here, and we have to specify the name of the property. So I will say that I would like to get the width. So it will be the, the size of those pies. Yeah, I have them. Uh, so 
those are the model values. And as I remember, Victor uh, wanted that it will be not just uh, the width, but also some other uh, things. I will copy and paste just that you would uh, come with me to see. Okay, so he said that, yeah, he would like to get the um, top level. Let's get it in this position and uh, the bottom level. Okay. So now I have a set of three, three set of values, I would say. But uh, from his needs, how he expressed that he would like to create some kind of a key. So the key will be the, um, the concatena concatenation, the, the addition of those values per each value, per, per, per each uh, model object. So let's use for this, uh, from this text, text format. Yeah, it will be, I think, quite nice. And we will provide three set of data. So it will be the first the width, the top level, and the bottom level. Mm, the order, it doesn't uh, matter. Uh, what, what matters is uh, the format. So how we would like to combine those strings. And yeah, we would like just to use the simple one, that it will be uh, the first value, we will use some separator, and the third, second value, and third value. Okay, let's go. And by combining those three Tecla values, we will get some keys. And by the key, I mean that the set of properties of each object, which is directly connected to them. But there is one problem that, of course, uh, those uh, keys are duplicated. Not every pile is unique. So probably we would like to somehow merge or maybe somehow map uh, the same of them. And if we look what is available on the Grasshopper uh, side without any additional uh, plugins, then we will see that there is the create set and how create set would help us. So if we go with this list to the create set and let's see how it will work, that at this point, uh, this list has only unique values. As you can see, uh, initially we had as many values as the drawing parts, but at the end, after this using this set, we have only the unique one and how it will help us. Because now we know that we need five colors to color all of those pies, because there are five distinct set of features. But of course, there's the question, uh, which one is mapped to, the, to this one, which is to, the, to this one. And of course, uh, we will find answer for this when we will look at the map. And here uh, is the, are the index indices of each of the drawing parts, how are they mapped to those unique ones? And it will uh, greatly uh, help us in the uh, next phase. So, okay, so at this point, we just get the drawing objects, convert them to the, uh, to the model ones, get those properties, uh, create some um, keys. After this, we wanted to make them unique to get only those which are not duplicated and we have the map. <laughs> Great, but <laughs> we have not touched uh, the coloring part. So if you look at the new attributes, there is the new component line attributes. Let's see how it will work. Okay, so here uh, we have the line type and the drawing color. And as uh, Victor said that he doesn't care about the line type at this point. So let's just pick the solid one and the drawing color. So here is the set of enumeration values. So those values are provided by Trimble and you can quickly get them also by looking just by the properties of uh, every drawing part. So those colors are exactly the same like this one. And here we come to this uh, obstacle, to this limitation of the drawing API, uh, which probably Victor will be not very happy <laughs> with it because it is impossible to just uh, set the RGB values for getting some, some distinct colors. We are uh, limited to those one. Of course, at the printing side, you can map 
each of them to different color, but uh, there is this small subset of available colors. So this is not like in Revit, but okay, let's deal with it. So now we know that we need uh, five distinct colors to get this uh, mission to, to the end. So uh, I will just move it, it a little to just not confuse you too much. Let's draw some panel to, to see what, 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 what is now. Okay, and set the color, for example, the red one. Okay, so now this line attribute is the solid and red color. But we would like to get more colors. So let, let's create more line attributes. And I will do this by... I don't fully remember the code. Uh, so the red is... Okay, this is this. And 101, 102. Okay, let's change it to the multi-line data. So we will have the list. And if we link it here, that yeah, we have now three uh, different uh, attributes. What else color do we have? Cyan, yellow, magenta. Okay, so I will go with this one. Okay, I have uh, more colors than I would that I would need, but okay, uh, at this point it's no 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 problem. So now uh, we would like to somehow use those line attributes for our drawing parts. And yeah, for this, we need another new component in the Tecla drawing link. This is the modify part. And how it will work? Modify part is related to the drawing side of the Tecla. It uh, accepts at the input the, the part, the drawing part. So this pipe on the left side. And we, at this point, can set the line attributes for the visible lines, hidden lines, and reference lines. Reference lines, sorry. So if we see at the normal settings, they are those one. So you can set those three features by 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 six different uh, values. Uh, for the Victor needs, we need just the visible lines. So we will change only those visible lines. But okay, we have a little problem. That okay, we know that there are five distinct colors, but we have plenty more of drawing parts to color. So we have to somehow use uh, this output from the create set component uh, to make our job done. Okay, so to make it a little more easy to understand, let's change the order of our things. So uh, I will move those Tecla things to the right. And yeah, now we don't need this set. I think that we all get uh, this and also this for better clarity. And let's focus on this map. So based on that, we now know the indices in the unique set of those uh, parts by, 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 by our key. And also we provided some colors. Maybe just change this to the um, colors. And also to just uh, change, change, yeah, change, <laughs> change the color of colors uh, just to make it uh, more distinctive. And here let's use another uh, inbuilt uh, component that we would like to get the item from the list. So if we provide those colors as a, a list and those map results as the index now we would like to yeah, maybe this should be uh, still there to see and now we should see that yeah this is exactly uh, what is the most i think the the most easy to understand what will happen so by combination of those two components we get the unique colors for our drawing parts and as you see now we have the list of all, all parts, because this map output uh, gives you the information about all of those input uh, drawing parts. So by doing this, we are combining the information from this list of the colors and also from this map. And please aware that if uh, this set of unique values would be bigger than provided colors, then there will be some problems because uh, those provided index will be not uh, available in the provided list. But okay, let's not complicate things more than they they, they are at this stage. So now we know the the number of colors, and we can provide this data. Oh no, I deleted it already. So let's get this one. Okay, so we can uh, once more again set that this line will be solid one, 
and set those colors as the input for our drawing uh, line attribute. And now, now it's, I think, uh, quite straightforward that we get exactly what, what Victor wanted. We get the line attributes for each pre-selected drawing part. So now we just need to modify them. Let's do this. So we have this new component modify uh, drawing part. And what are the parts? Yeah, parts were, so were uh, at this stage uh, provided. So let's drag this and yeah, maybe uh, just say that it will be not visible and use though this list of line attributes as an input to set to change the visible lines. Let's do this. And yeah, now we get those piles uh, colored by this unique set of feature. And of course, if we would differently combine this key, so for example, uh, at this stage, I would say that I don't want to take into account uh, the width of the pile. Okay? So now I get different set of colors because the, the key, which was used to, to distinguish each of the piles, has, is different. And of course, uh, Victor wanted to take into account all of those data. So it is like, like we see, uh, other way of manipulation would be to change the colors. But please be aware about the available colors and the drawing API. So not every from the RGB uh, scale, rather uh, not, not, very, uh, not very much are available. So I hope that maybe somehow, Victor, your work will be less tedious because, uh, yeah, it can be done by some filtering, but it will be hard to, to do this because those features like top, bottom and the width are not constant. Yes, at every project it will be different. And here the parametric uh, uh, programming by the Grasshopper uh, shines in a very uh, bright sun because you don't have to be so fixed. Of course, due to the color things, you are a little limited to those colors, but Generally, I hope that uh, it can be helpful. So, uh, one more time, what is new? Uh, this getting selected objects, uh, it, is, it, it is new thing, and it could not be done by uh, this uh, select drawing part, because here, yeah, we can get one, but if you would like to get multiple parts, then you cannot uh, drag and drop. So you have to manually pick one, by one and yeah it was so frustrating uh, i have not found any 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 official hack in the api of course it can be done by by, by some by some re re reflection sorry but they don't go uh, this route in this uh, this link so um, the get selected elements and of course those line attributes and changing the part representation so those part properties which are available under the drawing part properties this tab appearance uh, is available at the Tecla Drawing uh, Grasshopper link. I think that's all. Okay, uh, Victor, if you are there, please give a sign if this somehow helps in your work. Uh, if you have any more uh, needs, then please just express them in the in the in the comment or or uh, some direct message. I will think uh, very much about the dimensioning because uh, this. This topic has gained the most votes in your in in, in your in, in the in the latest poll, and yeah, it's quite challenging because there are so many types of dimensioning, and I would like to get it as simplified as it could, but with a broad range of possibilities. And as you heard, it it's almost impossible to combine to. Uh, completely different things, but yeah, let's see how I will uh, tackle this challenge. So, uh, see you uh, in the future, I would say. So, thank you very much and bye.